A difficult start. Manchester United's early season struggles. The 2024-25 season began with a mix of hope and trepidation for Manchester United supporters. The anticipation was palpable, with fans eager to see if the team could finally reclaim its former glory. The arrival of new manager Eric Ten Hag brought a renewed sense of optimism, but the early results have been far from convincing. Ten Hag, known for his tactical acumen and success with Ajax, was seen as the man to bring stability and success back to Old Trafford. A string of disappointing performances, including a humiliating defeat to rivals Manchester City, have left fans questioning whether the club is truly on the right track. The loss to City was particularly painful as it highlighted the gap between United and their crosstown rivals. The Red Devils currently find themselves languishing in the bottom half of the Premier League table, a far cry from their usual lofty ambitions. This position is unfamiliar and uncomfortable for a club that has historically been a dominant force in English football. The once feared attack has misfired, while the defence has been plagued by individual errors. Strikers who were once prolific have struggled to find the back of the net and defensive lapses have cost the team dearly. The midfield, often seen as the engine room of any successful team, has lacked creativity and dynamism. The inability to control games and create chances has been a significant issue, leaving the forwards isolated and the defence exposed. Ten Hag's arrival was met with cautious optimism, but the Dutchman faces a monumental task in turning around the club's fortunes. His tactical changes and training methods are still being adapted to by the players, and it remains to be seen if they will yield the desired results. The squad is clearly in need of an overhaul with several players failing to live up to their hefty price tags. The transfer market has not been kind to United in recent years, with many high-profile signings failing to make the expected impact. The pressure is mounting on Ten Hag to deliver results and quickly. The fans' patience is wearing thin and the board's support may not be indefinite if the current form continues. The early season struggles have exposed the deep-rooted problems that have plagued Manchester United for the best part of a decade. Issues such as inconsistent performances, lack of leadership on the pitch and poor decision-making off it have all contributed to the current malaise. The club has lacked a clear identity and direction since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson and the constant managerial changes have only exacerbated the issue. Each new manager has brought a different philosophy and style, leading to a lack of continuity and stability. Despite the challenges, there is still hope among the fan base. The emergence of young talents from the academy and the potential for future signings provide a glimmer of optimism. If Ten Hag can harness this potential and instill a winning mentality, there may yet be brighter days ahead for Manchester United. The journey to reclaiming their former glory will be arduous, but with determination and the right leadership, Manchester United can once again rise to the top of English football. The road ahead is long, but the Red Devils have the history, the fan base and the resources to make it happen. The Shadow of Sir Alex, a legacy that looms large. Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement in 2013 marked the end of an era at Old Trafford. The legendary Scottish manager had transformed Manchester United into a global powerhouse, winning a staggering 38 trophies during his illustrious 26-year reign. His departure left a void that has proven impossible to fill. Ferguson's success was built on a foundation of hard work, discipline and an unwavering winning mentality. He instilled a culture of excellence at the club, demanding the very best from his players and staff. His tactical acumen was second to none, and he had an uncanny ability to get the best out of his players. Since Ferguson's departure, Manchester United have struggled to replicate his success. The club has cycled through a succession of managers, each with their own philosophies and approaches. However, none have been able to come close to matching Ferguson's achievements. The shadow of Sir Alex Ferguson looms large over Old Trafford, a constant reminder of the club's glorious past. The current squad is still struggling to escape the shadow of their predecessors and the pressure to live up to the club's illustrious history is immense. The managerial merry-go-round at Manchester United has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride. From Moyes to Ten Hag, the club has seen a series of managerial changes, each bringing their own style and philosophy. 
The post-Ferguson era has been characterized by a revolving door of managers at Old Trafford, each struggling to fill the legendary shoes of Sir Alex Ferguson. David Moyes, handpicked by Ferguson as his successor, lasted just 10 months in the job. His tenure was marred by inconsistent performances and a lack of cohesion on the field. His reign was followed by the short-lived and unsuccessful tenures of Louis van Gaal and Jose Mourinho. Van Gaal brought a more disciplined approach but failed to deliver the attacking football fans craved. Mourinho, known for his defensive tactics and mind games, did manage to win some silverware but couldn't sustain long-term success. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, a former Manchester United player, brought a brief period of respite, injecting some much-needed positivity and attacking flair. However, his tenure ultimately ended in disappointment. The Norwegian was unable to build on a promising start, and he was sacked in November 2021 after a string of poor results. His inability to maintain consistency and defensive frailties were his undoing. Ralf Rangnick, a highly regarded German coach, was brought in as interim manager until the end of the 2021-22 season. Known for his pressing style and tactical acumen, Rangnick's appointment was seen as an opportunity to bring some much-needed stability to the club. However, his time in charge was largely underwhelming. The team struggled to adapt to his methods, and results on the pitch did not improve significantly. Eric Ten Hag is the latest manager tasked with restoring Manchester United to their former glory. The Dutchman arrived from Ajax with a reputation for playing attractive and attacking football and developing young talent. At Ajax, Ten Hag built a team that played with flair and intensity, reaching the semi-finals of the Champions League in 2019. His tactical nose and ability to nurture young players made him a sought-after manager. However, he faces a major rebuilding job at Old Trafford. The squad needs significant reinforcements and the club's hierarchy must provide the time and resources necessary for him to succeed. The challenge is immense, but the potential rewards are equally great. Manchester United fans are hopeful that Ten Hag can finally bring stability and success back to the club. The journey from Moyes to Ten Hag has been tumultuous, but with the right support, the future could be bright for the Red Devils. Section 4. A team in transition, the challenges of rebuilding. Manchester United's current squad is, well, a curious mix of expensive signings, academy graduates and players who have failed to live up to their potential. This blend of talent and underperformance has created a unique set of challenges for the club. The high expectations that come with big money signings often clash with the raw, unpolished talent of academy graduates, leading to an inconsistent team dynamic. The lack of a cohesive identity is evident and the team often appears disjointed and lacking in confidence. This disjointedness is not just a tactical issue, but also a psychological one. Players seem unsure of their roles and responsibilities, leading to hesitation and mistakes on the pitch. The defence has been a particular cause for concern, with individual errors costing the team valuable points. Defensive lapses have become a recurring theme, undermining the team's efforts and eroding the confidence of both players and fans. These errors are not just about skill, but also about communication and understanding among the back line. The midfield has lacked creativity and dynamism, often failing to link the defence and attack effectively. This has resulted in a lack of fluidity in the team's play, making it difficult to control games and create scoring opportunities. The midfield's inability to dominate has left the team vulnerable to counter-attacks and has put additional pressure on the defence. While the attack has been inconsistent at best, the forwards have struggled to find the back of the net, often missing clear-cut chances that could have changed the course of games. This inconsistency has been a significant hindrance, preventing the team from building momentum and putting opponents under sustained pressure. The lack of a reliable goal scorer has been a major problem, with the team often struggling to convert their chances. This has led to frustration among the players and fans alike, as the team has frequently dominated possession without being able to capitalise on it. The search for a consistent and clinical finisher continues to be a top priority for the club. Ten Hag has made some changes to the squad, bringing in Lissandro Martinez, Anthony and Casemiro. These signings have shown promise, but integrating them into the team and getting the best out of them will take time.
Each of these players brings a different skill set and experience, which could be crucial in addressing the team's weaknesses. However, the Dutchman will need time to implement his philosophy and build a team capable of challenging for major honours. His tactical approach and vision for the team require patience and understanding from all stakeholders. The process of instilling a new playing style and mentality is a gradual one, and there will be bumps along the way. The rebuilding process will take time and patience will be required from both the fans and the board. The supporters' role in this journey cannot be overstated. Their unwavering support and belief in the project will be vital. Similarly, the board must provide the necessary resources and backing to ensure the long-term success of the team. The challenges facing Ten Hag are immense. He must navigate the pressures of managing one of the world's most famous clubs while also addressing the immediate issues on the pitch. Balancing short-term results with long-term development is a delicate task that requires both strategic thinking and adaptability. He needs to improve the team's performances on the pitch, instill a winning mentality and attract top players to the club. This involves not only tactical adjustments but also fostering a culture of excellence and resilience. The training ground will be a crucial battleground where these changes are implemented and refined. The Dutchman has a proven track record of success, but he faces a monumental task at Old Trafford. His previous achievements provide a solid foundation, but the unique challenges of Manchester United will test his skills and resolve like never before. The journey ahead is fraught with obstacles, but with determination and the right support, Ten Hag has the potential to restore the club to its former glory. Section 5 the price of success, financial fair play and its impact. Manchester United's financial muscle has been a major advantage in the transfer market, allowing the club to attract some of the world's best players. However, the club's spending has come under scrutiny in recent years, particularly in light of the introduction of financial fair play or FFP regulations. FFP is designed to prevent clubs from spending more than they earn, ensuring a level playing field and promoting financial stability. Clubs that breach FFP regulations face a range of sanctions, including fines, transfer bans and even expulsion from European competitions. Manchester United's wage bill is one of the highest in world football, and the club has spent heavily on transfer fees in recent years. While the club's commercial revenues are significant, there are concerns that the club's spending is unsustainable in the long term. The Glazer family, who own Manchester United, have come under fire for their running of the club. Fans have accused the Glazers of saddling the club with debt and prioritising profits over on-field success. The Glazers have defended their record, pointing to the club's continued commercial success.